Hello all, I want to uh, just give a little bit of a refresher on how to use the COUNTIF function. As you remember, we, we previously used the frequency function to count numbers. So when, you, when we're analyzing data, we won't always have quantitative information. Sometimes we'll have to analyze uh, qualitative information. So the file that we have here is a file that's included in Canvas and it's called Final Grades. And this is a list of 30 grades that students have received in the course over the last semester. So let's talk about how we can use a count if function to analyze the number of times that certain grades have occurred. So here are bins, again, just like if we were using numbers. And then here is the, uh, the list of grades that we'll be counting. So a little bit different because in this particular case, we're going to use what is called a count if. So this is e frequency is equal to count if. Here we go, count if, right? Here's our range, just like our uh, array. And then criteria is we need to specify what is in this cell. So we want to count the number of A's. We can't exactly see the cell because the formula is in the way, but we know that this is cell C2. So C2. And then hit enter. So now we know we have seven A's, right? So I've talked about this a little bit before. So now if we want to um, pull and count the rest of these, let's go ahead and just lock in our range. And here's a dollar sign. And so by adding these dollar signs, and there's a function for this, we'll talk about it more as we get more involved in class. But right now we're just going to put these dollar signs in. So that signifies to Excel that we are locking in um, our range, right? It does nothing to this cell. But what it allows us to do is when we drag we can now populate all of the cells. So just to make sure that we've done this correctly, let's go ahead and, and sum these. This is equal to the sum. And we know we have 30, so let's just verify that. Great, so we have a total of 30 grades, right? So now if we talk about relative frequency, relative frequency is pretty much, this is equal to uh, the probability or, or or percentage, right? So seven A's out of a total of 30 grades, right? So I'm actually going to show you a little trick right now. So when I clicked on my D7 for 30, and I want to freeze that, um, I can just hit, you can't see me doing it, but if I hit F4, F4 automatically adds the dollar signs, which freezes this for me, right? So 23.3% of my class got an A. By freezing this dollar sign, I'm able to drag and drop and now calculate relative frequency or likelihood of each of these grades. And I want to also verify this by summing and making sure that my probabilities equals to be 1. I hope this is helpful. And then cumulative frequency, we talked about this in class. The cumulative, cumulative frequency that students have got an A is just equal to what I have here, right? Uh, cumulative frequencies, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, that's A. Cumulative frequencies of B is equal to what I have for A plus what I have for number of Bs and so on. And this will be equal to what I have here plus, and I'm just, I'm just going to keep accumulating until I get to the end and my cumulative frequency is summed to be one. And there we have it. If you have any questions, we can discuss more in class. Hope this helps.